Hey, I'm Philip. I work at Base10, and today I'm going to be showing you how, if you're already using the Chat Completions API, here's how you can experiment with open source models like Mistral 7b without making big changes to your code base. So, starting off, we have this super simple OpenAI Chat Completions invocation code sample, and you know, we just load it up, I've got my open API API key, which I'm uh, reading in from my environment variables because as much as I like you guys, don't wanna give you my API key. And we're just gonna do a super simple chat completion. So let this run and we're gonna find out that the 2020 World Series was played in Arlington, Texas at Globe Life Field and so on and so forth. So this is great, but what if you want to switch it up and start using an open source model here? Well, for that, what we're going to do is head over to Base10, and in the blog post, there's going to be a nice link to uh, exactly this model from a model library, which you're going to be able to deploy in just a couple clicks to get started. So I'm going to go ahead and deploy on Base10 and deploy model. And so what this is going to do is it's going to deploy this model on a dedicated instance. So rather than paying for each token of my API call, I'm just going to be paying directly for the hardware. Um, it's going to be running on an A10G, which is, it's a great GPU. It's, the, it's a good mix of uh, cost effective and also very performant. And it's a really good fit for 7 billion parameter models because it's got 24 gigs of VRAM, so the model's going to you know, run smoothly, have plenty of overhead for uh, being able to process user input. So this is also gonna have auto scaling. It's gonna scale to zero uh, when it's not in use, which is gonna save me money. I'm not gonna be paying for any GPU time when I'm not using the model. And I can actually go over to the logs and I can see my model server starting up, you know, allocating the memory. We've got this cold boost node that makes cold starts faster with scale to zero. Um, downloading the model, you know, plenty, plenty going on over here. And, uh, oh, look at that, model.load, execution, all done. So we should be more or less ready to go. Um, this, this was in real time, no fancy editing tricks here. Yep, model's active and, and ready to ready to use. So I'm only going to have to make three code changes over here to switch to using base 10. So if I go into this call model modal, I'm just going to want to grab this model ID right here. It's this, it's this bit after the hyphen and the ordinary endpoint. We're using a different endpoint for this chat completions feature. This is the endpoint URL you'd use to just invoke the model directly without using the OpenAI client. So I'm gonna take this model ID and I'm gonna paste it in here. Cool. So the other couple changes I'm making, I'm switching over to my base 10 API key. Um, you could generate one of those right here. I'm not gonna do that because again, I'm sure you're great, but I don't wanna give you my API tokens. Um, and then we're also going to go over here and switch from GPT 3.5 Turbo over to Mistral 7B. So taking a look at that, we're going to try running this code sample. And we're also gonna find out that the 2020 World Series was played at Globe Life Field in Arlington, Texas. We can actually hop over to the model logs and we can um, see that this uh, request was made. And we're also going to uh, get some inference metrics. Um, once we've made a couple of requests, these will sh start showing up. So this is great, but what if we want our response a little bit faster? Well, what we can do is we can paste in the model ID right here, and we can actually use the same streaming response that the chat completions API supports to get our first token way faster. So here's what that's gonna look like. Oh, yep, 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 streaming tokens, there we go. So, yeah, it's, it's really that simple uh, with this with this bridge um, endpoint to switch from using GPT 3.5 to using an open source model like Mistral. Definitely let us know if there's more models you'd like to see supported, more endpoints you'd like to be, see supported, or you know anything else we can do for you as you transition to using open source models. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.